New York native Dan Gamache has been surrounded by art all his life. His grandmother, being an art teacher, was the biggest influence on his artistic career because she would always push him in that direction. Gamache went to the College of St. Rose in New York and majored in fine arts. His love for sneakers was still burning strongly. By 2004, he became dissatisfied with the colorways that major sneaker brands were coming out with and started experimenting on old beat-up shoes he had. His first creation was on his old beat-up Air Max 90s that he painted different shades of purple. His brand, Mosh Custom Kicks, was born. Over the years, Mosh was able to build his brand as well as bring some light to this once underground genre of art called sneaker customizing. Customizing kicks is a form of art because the artist that creates this piece takes a shoe, either an all-white shoe or another shoe that has few colors that they want to keep, and paints and dyes a new color scheme or design on it. Each shoe follows a specific theme that they want to portray. For example, there was a Jordan 5 that was turned into a Corona Extra advertisement, a LeBron X that was designed and with a matching crate for storage and portraying the theme of Iron Man designed specifically for LeBron James himself and a Jordan 2011 that was designed to portray green smoke for the blockbuster movie Paranorman. The details on the shoe are extravagant, the owner generally won't wear them because of the fragility of the paint. However, if they wanted to show them off, they could definitely wear them a few times every now and then. Most collectors, however, like to keep all their shoes dead stock, which means never worn and in original box, so most won't ever wear them, just admire their beauty. His work, along with other popular work, is often displayed at large sneaker conventions that are all around the nation. One example is SneakerCon, which takes place annually in New York City and other major cities. These conventions are very popular for collectors to go and buy shoes of all kinds that they cannot get anywhere else. There are rare shoes as well as custom kicks like Mosh's. Other places that display shoes include mom and pop shops of limited athletic wear that are countless around the world. The most famous limited kick store in the city is called Flight Club New York. Flight Club is essentially a gallery that displays all the shoes on one wall organized by the model that they are. And they line them up in a way that all the shoes run across one wall so you can see them all at once. Collectors come to buy the shoes that they couldn't get at retail but still have the desire to own them at any cost. Mosh and Mosh custom kicks and you're watching SneakerWatch.com. Right, these are the convertible version of the LeBron 9 Lowe's Nerfs. Um, what I ended up doing was the original Nerfs, I actually, it wasn't so pearlescent, it wasn't such a different color changing sheen to it, because I didn't know how to paint it, so it was like the first pair was like kind of like the, uh, the guinea pig. So it was mostly just like a dark blue, so when I saw people doing the knockoff, not knockoffs, but their own versions of it, I saw that, um, you know, they were just like a, just a bland blue. So I tried to really rep replicate how the, how the you know, the blue was on the KD. So I used some pearlescent paints and some different kind of things to make a change. So it just kind of shifts some purple to blue, like how the actual KD was. So these are the unders. Basically, all I did was I used the dunk man as a base shoe. And like I was saying before, I inverted the colors of the regular nerf. So generally, the, this purple was in the front in this system, backwards, backwards. Oh, yeah, there we go. Even better. So that's how it goes. So everything kind of got flipped on its head a little bit. You know, the different colors just slipping it around. Dunk Man, I think, was a perfect base, obviously, with the green bottom. You know, all that good stuff. And then everything that was, you know, green went from infrared, as you can see. With the laces and all that good stuff. And even the logos on the back. You know, they're all in inverted and different, like that. And then I tried to kind of keep the blocking the same on the, t on the tongues. So the neon green was both on this side. And then on the other one, the writing was in orange. Kind of have the same other deal was. Yeah. These are the Beetlejuice pair. Like, people don't really see me doing too many dunks anymore. For you young people, Beetlejuice was a movie back in, um, oh God, like the early 90s. Tim Burton, Mike Keen, all that good stuff. Don't worry about it. Um, some of the artwork. And Corbury the Swoosh will hit the sand snake. Just to kind of show people that I can do artwork besides just doing colors and patterns and splatters and stuff like that. So people that actually know about the movie will probably recognize some of the artwork on the insides. Did the swooshes like that too? Now was this an order, or did you just decide? This is one. This is one for me. Like anything I do that's not like an order, that's it's always like my size because I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna rock them or whatever.